Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Ooh, don't want to cut my finger. I am going to ah, set up a little science experiment for you. Hello, guys. We got to take this whole thing apart. There we go. Okay, that's part one. Now part two, I need a box of raisins. Just one box. Here we go. Is that everybody? Oh no, there's a bunch more in here. Come on out, you guys. Wow. Hang in there. Hang in there. It's going to become clear eventually. Oh, one lousy raisin. Isn't it true? There's always one raisin left in the box. Like at least one french fry in the bag. Yeah. Okay. The question. The question is, what does a bowl of Tic Tacs and raisins have to do with monitoring your ECG on a smartwatch? Hmm? Hang in there. I'm going to show you. I am. First, I want to introduce you to this. This little puppy is amazing. This is an ECG machine. Pretty much. It does a bunch of other things like a stopwatch and a regular watch and heart rate and on and on and on and on. But, but you don't need that. All you need this thing for really is an ECG chart. You could wear anything else on your wrist as a watch, which is why I don't have the bands on here right now. But they're right here. We could put them on easy. And there'll be a review of this one coming up next, I promise you. But I was so excited about this that I wanted to preempt that review, which is already done with this video that shows you how to use this thing. Now, when I tap once, I go to blood pressure or heart rate. Tap twice, I go to ECG. There are two terminals here and here. And of course, there's the connection on the back. Now, if I use a part of my body, pretty much anywhere that's on one side and the other, I can connect and get a heart uh, ECG. And I'm going to bring the app over and just show you this part. I cover the whole thing in the full-on um, review. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to get ready to hit Start. I licked my fingers. And I'm getting that part of my body wet. And I, I want you to see this. This is just too cool. I'm touching both sides here. I hit start. It gives me a countdown, but I can go ahead and put it on the flat part of my hand right here. And there's my actual heart wave. Took a little bit to settle down. It's beeping right now. It's showing you my ECG plus PPG heart rate up there. And it's going to calculate and produce a full ECG report here in 25 seconds. We'll let this thing run. Now, the chart itself is going to be able to be replayed and or shown as a complete chart. So in about a little over 30 seconds or so, you can do an ECG measurement. And then the app takes over, which happens right now. You've got an average heart rate and a health index, 69. I can click on the health report and I get all kinds of data. It's even identifying ventricular premature beats in the way I had it set up and measuring right now. It's showing I'm normal, but this advises me that I should be aware of this situation. Now, again, this is test for only testing. It's not for permanent, you know, diagnosis, but it gives you some information you could share with your doctor to say, hey, could you check me for this? That kind of thing. I got a mental stress number, I got a fatigue index, and I got my heart age all out of that one single measurement, along with physical and mental relaxation, heart vitality, and a sympathy parasympathetic measurement. Those of you who know, know what that means. Those of you who don't, like me, can learn. I could come back here and I can do the whole replay of the ECG in real time, or I could stop that, hit my ECG report, and there is the entire heart wave that I just created that I can uh, export by hitting that button. So why the raisin? Why the Tic Tac? Well, because of this. I can come back here 
and I can go all the way back here and tap here to get to all of my reports. It turns out, guys, this little watch module can capture eight ECG sessions before the memory's filled up on it. How do I know? I did 12 sessions in a row, and the most recent eight showed up after I transferred the information over. That means you could slip this in your pocket and take it with you anywhere you like and not worry about it getting banged around or scratched up. And if you feel that you'd like to take an ECG reading, you know how to do it. You don't have to be on here live. Nope, you can do it as simple as this. I'm not even going to hit start there. You just simply, oh, we're into heart, timing. you, you got to get back to the main thing, and there's only one button you press here. There's the normal mode. You go one tap, two taps, long tap. That's all you got to do. You hold the ends, and you touch it, and you wait. And in about 30 seconds, it'll tell you, it's done. Now you're not hearing the beeping of your heart. You're not seeing a wave being generated on your on your phone screen. That's all okay. But it's doing it. It's doing it at the end of your exercise activity. It's doing it when you get into your car. It's doing it wherever and whenever you want. And do it up to eight times before you sync back to your phone and you'll be able to transfer that data and see the full report with all those index items on there and an artificial intelligence evaluation if your heart rate is normal or one or more of those other conditions. There you go, ECG data to the, what about the box of raisins? Same thing. I just was looking for alternatives to how you could carry this thing in your purse or your... Yeah, I know it's in there with a raisin. Don't it? Don't 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 tell anybody, okay? But uh, <laughs> that is how Tic Tacs and raisins come together to create an ECG chart. There's probably other wonderful ways of carrying these things, but you know, I looked all over the grocery store, got these, and then at the checkout register. I said, ha, ha, a Tic Tac box, that'll work best. But I wanted to show you both options. Gang, it's a great, wa where is it? It's a great, <laughs> I've got it already put away. It's a great little watch, honestly, um, for what it's doing. Again, it's um, not medical calibrated, obviously. It's under 50 bucks or so for this thing. Um, is this the top part? Yeah, you, and you can take the bands out anytime you want. You could wear it on your wrist or uh, you could, pack it in your Tic Tacs and take it with you. I'm very impressed. We've evaluated a lot of uh, different health bands and some, many, do ECG. This does not do the uh, scientific uh, uh, blood oxygen with red diodes. Get this if you're interested strictly for the ECG capability. That's what I'm going to be doing. This will be in my Tic Tac box, in my pocket, everywhere I go and anytime I want. I can produce a chart, and when you get back, as you see, when you go in here, it gives you your average heart rate and the date and time of your measurement, all of them. Excellent, excellent thing. Are you ready for the review of the F-16? <laughs> Coming up next, check it out. Here's a fun fact. The Raisin Box without the raisin yeah i ate it turns out it exactly fits the app llp max android smartwatch like so little bit tall but you can cram it in now you got a way to carry an android watch in your pocket <laughs>